Vue 3.4 gave us a better reactivity system, especially with how computed properties became a lot more efficient. And even though these changes have been out for a while, I just found out about a best practice that you need to know to make your apps more performant. Honestly, I can't believe I didn't learn about this sooner, so let's take a look. Before Vue 3.4, computed properties would trigger their effects whenever their dependencies changed even if the computed value itself stayed the same. So in this example, we have a ref count, a computed is even, and a watch effect that logs out is even. Every time we click a button and increment count, this is even watch effect will still run even if the value doesn't change. View 3.4 made this smarter, so the same component is just more efficient and behaves more like you'd expect. This watch effect will only run when is even changes between true and false. And that's what made this release so nice. Without any code changes on our end, the performance just got better. But there's one case where this doesn't work, and that's if your computed returns an object. So every time the computed will run, it will generate a new object, which means technically it returns a new value every time, even if the objects are equal. So in our example, if we just turn is even into is even object, we don't get that optimization and our effect runs when it doesn't need to. And this can get even worse when you're passing this computed as a prop to another component. Components update whenever any of their props change, and our computed is returning a new object every time. So if you look at it and increase count by two, is even doesn't change, but not only is our effect still running, but our child component is updating. And this is all because computed is returning a new object. So especially if you're rendering lists, have deep component trees, or just have components with expensive rendering, your app can be doing a lot of work for no reason. Luckily, there's two good things about this. First, this isn't a regression. This use case has the same behavior as older versions of Vue, so your app performance didn't get worse, it could just be better. And second, Vue has a solution for this. Starting in Vue 3.4, Computer gives us the previous value as an argument. So what we can do is construct our new value, compare it to the old one to see if anything actually changed, and if they're equal, we can return that same previous object. And if they're actually different, then we want to return that new object. So just with that little change, now when we increase count by two, since is even doesn't change, our watch effect doesn't trigger, and we're passing the same props to our component. So while Vue keeps giving us better and better performance out of the box, with this optimization technique, you can make your app even more efficient. Let me know if you've been using this in your projects, and if you found this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more Vue tips.